she will be presenting speech number eight, Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. Ronit has been a Toastmaster member for almost a year and a half, and she really enjoys being a part of this wonderful group. Today, Ronit will try to teach you something <coughs> new and hopefully spice up your life. The title of her speech is Spice It Up. and get my 10,000 steps all the time in order to maintain my weight. But that's not a new story for everybody. <coughs> but the type of food I love most is ethnic food. I love Indian food. <laughs> Indian food, in my opinion, and I'm sorry for being so biased, is the best. It's so flavorful, it's spicy, there's so much of a variety, and it just does something to fill me up. How many of you fellow Toastmasters like Indian food? A lot. How many have never tried Indian food? None? Oh, that's great. But how many of you know how to cook Indian food? Not many. How many would like to learn? Yes. Well, it's your lucky day. Because today, I'm going to teach you how to make chicken curry. <laughs> now, let me give you a little bit of a background uh, on my cooking skills. I was never a cook. My mom, just like most Indian mothers or parents, spoiled their kids. I didn't know how to do anything besides washing dishes. <laughs> Finally, when I got married at the age of 24, my husband Ashok taught me how to cook. I mean, he wasn't great cooking, but he taught me how to cook at the age of 24. That's ridiculous. I said, since I love Indian food, I have to take his cooking and make it way better. <laughs> so I had an epiphany. Oh, yeah. I thought to myself, I'm going to teach you <coughs> how to make Indian food. And I, back then, we didn't have Google or you know, smartphones, but I Googled it. I mean, we did have Google. I Googled that on the internet, but we didn't have smartphones. And I learned how to make Indian food. And I would love to share a very easy recipe of chicken curry. I'm going to pass this around. And I only have 20 copies, so if you can share, that would be great. And you can make it in Ottawa. Now the first thing, this pot, by the way, is uh, my late grandmother's pot. She gave it to me when I got married. So I've had it for 15 years. Wow. And I swear this would taste so much better when I cook <laughs> my chicken curry in this pot. The first thing you do is pretty much put a few tablespoons of oil Obviously, when you go to Indian restaurant, they put a lot of oil, so that's why it tastes much better. But because I'm watching my calorie intake, I put just a few spoons and perhaps add a little bit more water towards the end. <laughs> now, as you can see on the paper, there's a lot of ingredients that goes into, into Indian food, but this is actually one of the basic recipes that I have. And just like cooking anything else or baking anything else, you just combine a bunch of ingredients and you just know, learn how to time it properly, taste it, and voila, it's done. So the first <laughs> ingredient is after adding the oil, you chop an onion. And again, this is probably enough for four people to eat, so just enough for my whole family to eat. So chop an onion, let it saute for about a minute or so. And then chop a couple of uh, tomatoes. Now, if you want more gravy and less spice, then just add more tomatoes. It's that simple. And then after you let it cook and it gets a bit saucy, then you add the garam masalas, the cumin powder, 
the turmeric, you can add uh, garlic, coriander, and a, a lot of people think Indian food is spicy, but it's really not. What makes it spicy is the chili powder. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want any spices, just don't put the chili powder. But I love spices, so I put in a lot of chili powder. <laughs> and then I mix it up, and I let it cook for about five to seven minutes, because the masalas have to cook, otherwise it's not gonna taste good. Add a little bit of water if it gets dry, put it on low heat, and keep cooking the masalas. Once that starts to smell good, all you have to do is add your chicken, or your turkey, or your beef, or even vegetables. It's that simple. And then just cover it up and let it cook on medium heat. Of course, every two, three minutes, you check on it, you stir it, you add a little bit more water if, if you know it's getting a bit dry. But it's as simple as that. That's it. 20 minutes on the stove and it's done. You can add your favorite vegetables after that. You can add peas or spinach or potatoes. And it's really simple as that. Another simple, another secret I would like to share with you is you can do all that. This would take about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. This is again the basic recipe. Or you can go to the Indian store. And a lot of people don't know this, but this masala has everything. You don't need to add anything to it but water. So it says here, put a couple of cups of water in the pan, make sure it boils up, put this package, stir it up, and put your chicken. And it's simple as that. <laughs> it's two dollars, but just like in anything else with cooking or baking, if you may want to make everything out of scratch and you want to make it authentic and give it your own flavor and taste, you make everything from scratch. But sometimes you don't have time and if you want to buy a boxed cake versus making it from scratch, this is an alternate way of cooking Indian food. And there's dozens of Indian restaurants in the Tampa Bay area. If you don't know of any, I'll be more than happy to pro provide you the names. In conclusion, I hope today you learn how to make simple chicken curry and had an epiphany and just like I did, realize that cooking Indian food is really that simple. Go for it, spice up your life, and make some chicken curry. Thank you.